round robin is done. Day four complete at the Alberta Junior B Provincials. I'm Sean Mullen. And as Chris Caldwell said at the beginning of overtime, this is the situation that I called during our preview. It coming down to Okotoks against Wainwright, the Battle of the Bisons, and a rematch of last year's Alberta Junior B Provincial Championship game for a spot in the gold medal game against the new kids on the block, the upstart Lacrete Lumber Barons. And it comes down to overtime on top of that. And it's Keegan Law scoring the OT winner. And we'll once again hear from Keegan Law later on in this brief HN Live Today special recapping day four and previewing the Alberta Junior B Provincial Final. But first, the Lacrete Lumber Barons. And what a story they have been. 4-0 and in this event. Their first provincial in only their second season as a franchise. They've won every game they've played so far, including against the team they'll face in the gold medal game tomorrow, the Okotoks Bisons. But is this Cinderella tale going to hit midnight, or will they ride off into the sunset with a gold medal around their neck? Will the Okotoks Bisons be able to avenge last year's defeat on home ice when they hosted provincials against the Wainwright Bisons and this time come away with the gold medal? Lots of storylines for tomorrow's championship game. And we start with the Lumber Barons. We're joined by Dion Knelson, head coach of the Legrete Lumber Barons. And, and Dion, it's still sunny somehow out there. It's dark here in Swift Current, but the sun's shining on Legrete this week at the Alberta Junior B Provincials. It's been quite a week for you. 4-0, and advanced to the gold medal game. How are you feeling? I mean, yeah, I guess uh, we all kind of surprised ourselves. I don't think we were expecting to uh, have punched our ticket uh, to the finals at least not on uh, Friday already so that, that was definitely you know a, a pleasant surprise you know the guys have uh, competed and played hard all year and um, and you know we just kind of go into games you know definitely feeling uh, like there's going to be some pretty good matchups out there but I mean the boys got it done and they found a way to win these games and um, uh, you know it's uh, it's pretty exciting we're all pretty pretty proud of you know how how we've gotten to this point um uh, obviously there's a big game tomorrow and we're uh we're gonna try to get a good rest and get ready to go we'll talk more about that but you're just coming out of the arena as we're recording this after the okotoks bisons overtime win over wainwright in a rematch of last year's provincial final uh Clearly, you've got a front row seat for that, playing one of them tomorrow. What do you think of the game? Certainly a lot of excitement. Yeah, man, it's it's such it's it's honestly it's such good hockey. Those are two really, really good hockey teams. Um, uh, honestly, we have so much respect for both of those teams. And uh, you know, there's a team that's like, oh, I hope they win. Like, like regardless, you have a, a lethal opponent in the finals. And uh, it was I mean, it was fast paced, intense hockey, really structured, disciplined. Um it was back and forth. It was uh, it was definitely fun to watch, and uh, you know it's going to be a good battle tomorrow. No doubt about that. And I'm sure it doesn't hurt your feelings to see them have to play a little bit of extra hockey, <laughs> wear themselves out a little bit more going into tomorrow. But yeah. it probably won't make a huge difference. I'd obviously wish they could go to triple overtime. It doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. But uh, oh, they're uh, it was. I mean, they they laid on the uh, all on the line every single time they play and. Uh, it's, I'm sure it's uh, not going to be any different tomorrow. Well, looking at the matchup now, uh, Okotoks, you guys got the jump on them the one time you played them during the round robin, got three in the first period, and then your goaltender was great the rest of the way. How do you reflect back on that game as you prepare to meet them again tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, that, it's it's been key for us getting that first goal. and uh, uh, I mean, yeah, like, to be efficient has been very, very critical for the way we've, we've been playing and uh, and getting those early goals, getting up. I mean, teams definitely react differently if they're up if they're up versus if they're down, and, and it changes the game a lot. So, uh, you know, we, we're definitely well aware of uh, of how they kind of carry the possession later in the game, and um, we're going to have to definitely make some adjustments to uh, try to push them back because uh, they don't give up a whole lot and, and they're, they're uh, really great on transition and, and uh, they try to always get it into your end and um, they're very disciplined with that. They don't turn the puck over much. They, uh, they're they crisp with their passes and uh, it's it's just a really, it's going to be a really fun opponent to play against because it's, uh, uh, they're just, they play hockey the right way and uh, it's going to be fun. When you see all the power play goals in the game today, six out of the seven between the two teams, 
Does that also tell you discipline is going to be massively important to the game tomorrow? Well, yeah, and it always is, right? Like in uh, in a in a moment, the moment, the way that the way momentum shifts in hockey games, like the, a power play can change everything, right? And and, and uh, you know, we're always trying to play disciplined, always keep our sticks down, not keep it out of the hands, those kind of things, and uh, play physical, but not to do any take any stupid penalties, but. You know, it's going to get emotional, obviously, and, and you're going to try to keep your emotions under control and, and try to figure out uh, how to compete and win battles and, and stay out of the box. And obviously, if, if you do get those power plays, you got to convert. You know, they got a great kill and uh, they block shots and they, uh, they, uh, they, they work very hard to, uh, to keep uh, the net, front of the net clear. So it's, uh, it's going to be a battle. Now, they're coming back after having lost in the provincial final on home ice last season. They're going to have that hunger to try and avenge that. You guys are the new kids on the block. You're four and zero right now. Is there any special message you have to give your players to make sure they match that hunger and desperation Okotoks is going to bring? Well, I mean, yeah. I, what what is the message? It's like it's uh, this whole time you're kind of like, what the what do you say to these guys before these games against these great teams? And and uh, really, it just comes down to like, let you leave it all on the ice. I mean, what else are you going to do? Like some of these guys, they'll be their last game. Um, you, you really never know when you'll get another opportunity like this. Um, and you, know, you, you don't want to get imposter syndrome and think like, how the heck did we make it here? But uh, they deserve to be in this final game and, uh, and to, to go out there and, and uh, play like a championship team and just, just go out there and uh, don't, don't, uh, don't yield at all to, to the way they play and just, just go out there and try to dictate the play. As soon as you let them be on their toes, it's a tough game. Well, and you're going to have a lot of fans there today, tomorrow. That should say something. That should give some energy, I would imagine. I know you've already had a lot, and apparently there are a lot that are on the way knowing you'll be in that gold medal game. Yeah, I know. I think the road will be well, – well, there will be some uh, Lacrete uh, caravans on the road, that's for sure. They uh, We have a pretty incredible fan support. I mean, for people to drive four, four hours to come watch us play uh, – uh, I mean, it's, it kind of blows my mind, but it doesn't surprise me. They're, uh, they've been passionate all year, and uh, you know, it'll be, hopefully give the, the boys a bit of energy. Uh, last thought and, and sort of a broad thought, but this is only your second year as a program. To have the success that you've had so far, you know, finish second in the regular season by a hair, win the league championship, you're in the provincial final, 4-0 at provincials. What has been so special about the development of this program so quickly already just in your second year. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You kind of, if somebody would have told me we'd be here a, a year and a half ago at, at, uh, at main camp on our first camp, I, I uh, would have laughed my head off because uh, I mean, it's really, it's, it's honestly a bit surreal seeing kind of where we came from. It came, it started with a vision from, uh, you know, Mike Schellenberg and Dennis Paul and some of the guys there to, to just put a junior B team here. Um, they uh, they started spreading the rumor that I was going to be the head coach before they even asked me. <laughs> and uh, I, I, they brought me in and I said no. <laughs> and then I ended up somehow through we're helping with main camp and stuff. All of a sudden, uh, I ended up taking the job. And and uh, and it's just like, oh, man, every game you felt like an underdog. Uh, we we got beat pretty bad quite a few times last year and. And you came into the summer knowing, you know, you got a year under your belt. You don't have a team of all rookies anymore. Uh, you got a fair number of guys coming back, but quite a bit of turnover. And then you you, know, you get some guys coming from the city that are coming back home to play and that make a big difference, like Eric Giesbrecht and Jonah Cardinal. And and, uh, and uh, it's just, you know, we, we just, we honestly, we think too, really had the goal of, you know, making provincials and, and you know, making it to the final and provincial for us about kind of the process we have habits that we that we maintain and, and we have a certain standard in terms of work ethic that is critical and that we don't uh we don't want to drop below that bar and and uh you know it's just a testament to the effort to how uh committed these boys are, how hard they've worked that we've got at this point um it's uh it's really a, a truly incredible group of guys and um it's uh it's honestly a privilege to be their coach and i really hope for their sake that they can just go into this game tomorrow and uh, leave it all out there. No regrets and hopefully get a win. Well, again, congratulations on getting this far coach. Thanks for taking the time. I know the sun is setting 
hopefully for you guys, the sun doesn't set on you early tomorrow. It's a, a great run you've had, and I appreciate your time today. Good luck tomorrow. Uh, thanks, John. Have a good one. Dion Knelson, the head coach of the Lacrete Lumber Barons, and what a great job he's done. His general manager telling me the other day, junior A level coaching from Dion has helped lead this young, fast, skilled team to a gold medal game tomorrow against an Okotoks team that has been there before. They've done it before, but fell short last year, made it to the gold medal game and lost to Wainwright. Beat Wainwright today, exercise those demons, and now a shot this time to go home with the gold. After the overtime winner on the power play, our own Dave Dawson chatted with Keegan Law. 4-3 the final, the overtime hero, Keegan Law. Keegan, where does this rank in amongst goals you scored in your career? Uh, definitely probably number two, just because I scored right after my uncle passed away, but that one was really special, especially because we've been waiting all year for a moment against Wainwright again, and we wanted that matchup to be meaningful, and it was for the to go to the gold medal, and that's probably, I'd say it's the biggest goal I've ever scored, probably. Yeah, <laughs> probably pretty meaningful. Yeah. Take me into that, you lose last year, you mark it on your calendar, we want a shot at Wainwright, and is that exactly what was probably discussed, and poetic, I imagine? Oh, very much so. We were following their playoffs the whole time, we wanted them to win, because we wanted another shot at them in Provincials. We had to do our job to get here as well, we were focused on that, but we wanted them whether it was in the finals or a meaningful game, but we really wanted it to be meaningful, and I think it was very meaningful. Keegan, the puck's on your stick. What's going through your mind? Uh, I was pretty scared, to be honest. You know, it's overtime. A winner goes to the gold medal game. We had a power play. I, I turned the puck over in the corner, and they almost scored, and our guys bailed us out, but I wanted that goal bad, and I saw just a little bit above his pad, and I shot for my shot, and luckily it went in. You guys were down 2 nothing early, where Zubiak seemed almost impenetrable. What changed for you guys today? Uh, you know, we were just super hungry again because they beat us last year, and we didn't want to give up. We've been down a couple of times in, like, that Sylvan series, and we clawed our way back, and it's all about just getting that next shift out, next shift out, and then just building on every single one. And then once we got that first one, I think we just started rolling, and it kind of just, like, something was lifted off our backs a little bit. It almost feels like this was a championship type game. Chris and I were laughing, we're like, oh, what's the overtime format? Oh yeah, it's still round robin. Did it feel like that out there today too? Oh, for sure. You know, that game was, it felt like a game seven, to be honest. And it pretty much was, but even on our bench, because it felt like the playoffs, we were like, okay, it's five on five. And then we had to kind of remember that it's three on three overtime. So that changed our planning a little bit, but yeah, it was, it was a tough game for sure. Keegan, speaking of meaningful, I, uh, obviously a difficult day today, April 6th, the anniversary of the Humboldt Broncos bus crash. Uh, what, uh, do you have a connection to that? Obviously, as a hockey player, but how meaningful was that for you today to play on a day like this? You know, it's really special to just have an opportunity. It kind of just feels like we need to remember that, and it, we always will. Um, but the little things like putting out your stick on your porch. I texted my brother, put my stick out on the porch just because that became kind of a ritual. And when I played in Spruce Grove, you know, we had two guys from that team. It was the year before I got there, but we always talked about it because it was a tragic event. And, um, you know, we always remember it. Even when it's not on the day, it, you just, you always remember things like that. And you have it in your heart for those families and those players. Well, one final one for you. You put Wayne right behind you. Now you have a chance to play Lacreed tomorrow. What about them? Do you have to do really, really well in order to come out with the championship? You know, they're fast, they're young. They capitalize on their chances very well. Um, and we just have to limit those chances. We just gotta work as hard as we can. I think, you know, the cliche stuff, you know, work hard, skate Fire, hard. fire in all cylinders, take one, get them inside. Exactly. Get pucks deep. Yeah, but you know, they're young and I bet you they got some legs still in them. Especially going 4-0, and oh, they got some momentum, and we're just going to have to bring our A game tomorrow. Yeah, well, you got legs and momentum as well, Keegan. Really appreciate this. Thanks so much. Congrats. Thank you very much. All right, Keegan Law, what a great gentleman. What an interview. And what a shooter. What a shot. The Okotoks Bisons are off to the championship game tomorrow. Well, there's your overtime hero. And what a story. And what a matchup we have for you tomorrow in the gold medal game. The Okotoks Bisons, last year's silver medalists knocking off the team that beat them for gold, the Wainwright Bisons, 
a chance for redemption and that gold medal tomorrow against the Crete Lumber Barons. The new team, only their second year of existence, a chance to hoist a provincial banner in that second year. What a game it'll be tomorrow on HN Live. As well, don't forget the bronze medal game. Wainwright will look to take home another medal. They've been a powerhouse in Junior B hockey in Alberta as they take on the St. Albert Merchants, who had a strong victory over the North Peace Navigators. A great day today in Peace River. Great job by our whole crew, Dave Dawson, Chris Colwell, Calvin Bellows and company, who've done a fantastic job all week. Tomorrow, multi-camera replay broadcast for both the medal games. Should be a lot of fun. Tune in to hnlive.ca for all the action. And again, as we've been saying all throughout the day today, our hearts continue to be with the families and friends of those we lost six years ago today in that tragic Humboldt Broncos bus crash, including, of course, Peace River's own Darcy Hogan. And you can check out the tribute Dave Dawson put together to Darcy on all of our social media. Have a good night.